Hi guys, this is Chip from Big R Motorsports. Uh, I'm gonna show you the repin. A lot of people make it sound like it's so hard and so difficult, but it's actually very easy. The first thing you wanna do is, you have your harness, you wanna take the ECU off that you're gonna be replacing, and then you take these little brackets, pull them back, and this black piece will slide right off. When that black piece slides off, you'll see that inside are numbers. See, you can see the 41 all the way across, and this is, goes one all the way across, 21, 41. So whenever you count, you go one, two, three, four, five, or if you're on this, this row here, 21, 22, 23, 24. If you're starting off on here, it's 41, 42, and you can actually see the numbers inside. So it's fairly simple. Um, you also want to use a T-pin, and I like to use this. So I like a dental tool. You can get it mostly at the uh, automotive swap meets. And what I use this for is I use it to pop out the red piece. Just pry it up. I like to pry it here, here, and here, and sometimes on this side so that I can pry it up and get this piece out. Let me get it out for you. There you go. Now you pry that out and I have an example pin in here. Here's the example pin. I put it in pin four, see the number four in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's, that's pin four. And what I'll do is I'll flip it over and you're going to see a small little tiny tab in there holding that pin in place. What I'm gonna do is take that little pin, little pin here, you see that? And I'm gonna stick it in there Pull the little tab down. Pop the wire out. Let's see if we can get this out for you. There you go. So basically what you're gonna do is, you're gonna follow your instruction sheet. I like to use this sheet here. And you can literally look down and look at what kind of car you have. For example, if you have an 8045 SVO, and you're repinning it for the LA3. So you're always going to be looking at the at the T-Bird one. And you literally can just go down the line and see, okay, look, I have to make these wires match the T-Bird pin out. So you go down, looks the same, looks the same. Oh wait, now I'm at pin 30. 30 needs to move to pin 24. 32 needs to move to 31. You see how that is? And if you keep going farther down, you see 43 needs to go to 27. And you can see that. And there's actually only three main wires that you really need to do. The 43 to 27, the 25 to 43, and the 30 to 24. Those are the main three. The other ones, the air charge temp sensor, it'll make your car run better, but it's not necessary to make the car run. Those are the only three wires that you really need to focus on. Again, 43 to 27, 25 to 43, and 30, yeah, 30, 30 to 24, okay? Those are the ones that you need to focus on. And that's it. And once you move the pins around, you take the pin, you push it into where it needs to move. Example, if I need to move 43 to 25, I know 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Listen to it snap. Snaps in place. Once it snaps in place, I have all my wires moved around 
I put this back in here, put my little cover back on, and we're good to go. And I'll tell you, it usually takes roughly around 30 minutes to do it. It's not even a big deal. This is Chip from Big R Motorsports, showing you how to repin for an L-Series ECU.